This year, we call it a press conference, but usually it's more of a pregame show, but this year we're actually going to do a traditional press conference style. We're actually going to go to the pit and allow the uh, various writers from all the prestigious magazines covering the event, including the websites, to ask any questions they see fit, along with you, the audience. You got any questions for the Olympians? All right. Yeah. Or you can sit there and blink, looks kind of a, <laughs> <laughs> stare blankly at me. <laughs> so, nobody has any questions for the Olympians? Yeah, oh, he's got one. Okay, we'll have you come down later on. But uh, so like I say, we're going to change it up just a little bit. We always like fan interaction, give you guys a chance to ask some pointed questions you might have throughout the year and get the Olympians a chance to uh, intermingle with the fans. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Germany Tennis Big Fan Wolf! The Dominican Dominator, Victor Martinez. Former Mr. Olympia, Dexter the Play, Jackson. Here comes the Predator. They call him the gift, Phil Heath. And last, but of course not least, your four-time Mr. Olympia, Jay Butler. As you can see, you know, you live and dream, dream about this contest and this moment your entire life. You know, I've been bodybuilding for 20 years now, and uh, you know, the Mr. Olympia is a Super Bowl, so uh, you know, to get knocked out of uh, a freak accident like that. Uh, it's very tough to deal with, but uh, you know I'm here because of you guys in the audience. That's why I'm here. You know um, I know a lot of guys came here, a lot of my fans came here to see you. Uh, pretty up the stage a little bit down here. So how about our own resident IFBB pro, Miss Amanda, my Latona. Okay guys, we have some questions? Or questions do you want me to ask from the will. pit. Anyone have a question? Hey, this guy right here. Hello sir, how are you? Question for Phil Heath. It's a two prong question, Phil. Describe the differences this year in your physique to last year and also in your mindset. What's your state of mind that's different from last year? <laughs> I would say um, everything's bigger, you know, I, I definitely utilized this uh, last off season to the best of my ability and I feel that, um, you know, you guys are just going to have to see on Friday night. Um, you know, what are you going to do, what about next year, and the truth is, is you really get to, you know, reap the benefits of winning that Mr. Olympia title for one year, from September to September. So. I don't want to think about anything in the future. I want to think about what's in front of me now. I want to put on a great show for the fans, and I want every one of these athletes to, that are here for the first time enjoy getting up on the stage and doing their best. And like I said, this is a lifelong dream for all of us. You guys came from many far places to support this, and without you guys, we couldn't be here. And um, you know, you can ask me that question 
on Saturday night if it, it feels right. But right now, you know, I'm just happy to be here and uh, I'm just looking forward to getting on stage. All right, Drake. Well, Tony and Troy, they, them guys are way older than me. I'm, I'm young compared to them. I don't know why they put me in their league. <laughs> but no, no. You know. <laughs> I, I want to get through uh, this weekend. <laughs> I mean, that's that's really all I think about. I mean, I think, I think everyone that knows history said, you know, I wanted to win three to match my Arnold Classic victories, and once I went three, I went to four because it was kind of elusive to get to to three because Dexter took one from me. So, but which Dexter? <laughs> But I want to thank Dexter because it fired me up to come back and, and beat him to win it back. So. Uh, you know, it's it's like I said, winning one, two. I mean, Dexter will tell you. He said he was happy winning one, but I know he wants to win another one, right? That's how it always goes, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know you want to win on Saturday night. Though. So, I mean, it's just a, it's a great honor to, to win as many as I have. And I just, like I said, I, I want to get to five. That's obviously the goal right now. And I'm happy that you're here to support it. And I know you're a supporter of me, so thank you. I think for about uh, 15 minutes on that, you know. He's very slow. You know, we talk about the mental aspect of this game, and, and it's obviously, I'd say it's at least 30% of, of how you look on stage, because the pressure getting up there on the Mr. Olympia stage has got to be enormous. It's like, you know, if you could squat 400 in the gym, but then you got to do it in front of 10,000 people, it's a lot different. Uh, Kai Green has won the Arnold Classic twice. Uh, he, he had a pretty convincing win at the New York Pro this year. Kai, what's your mental state? I know you're really big on mental focus, but obviously the Olympia has been a title that's kind of eluded you. You haven't been able to peak for this show the two times you attempted it. What's changed this year? What, what's going through your mind? I know you, you're heavier uh, at this point than you were last year. Um, are you concerned about your weight, number one? And number two, do you think you'll be your best come Friday night? Yes. <laughs> you're, you're not getting off so easy because uh, I want to know the mental state. What are you mentally thinking? Are you worried? Are you concerned? This is a big show for you. You've, you have never peaked at this show. What changes this year as opposed to years past? Um, well, a lot of things have changed. Um, <clears throat> yes, it is, very, it is very difficult to prepare for a show of this magnitude. Um, to all the fans and enthusiasts out there that um, have the luxury of doing things in your comfort zone and imagining in your mind of what that experience may be like. Please recognize that is done in your comfort zone and that is a luxury. When you climb in the trenches and become an athlete, you know, doing this thing, there's a whole other reality that is taught to you. And with that, I have to say I give a lot of credit to the guys on top, like a Jay Cutler, um, just because um, to be able to do it and then have a swagger about it that makes it look easy um, is uh, noteworthy in itself. Um, to answer your question though, my mindset has been honestly um, not as different now as I would imagine it had to be, you know, some years back. I think the lessons that I'm pulling from today are the lessons that I learned as an amateur, you know. Um, anybody who's ever given ever competed at a local amateur bodybuilding show as a teenager has probably got the experience of walking in, um, going through the process of standing online and looking at the competition or other people wondering who's in your class and who's not, looking at the huge traps and massive running veins that run down the forearms. And there's a lot of reason and room to be intimidated at any minute. You could probably turn around and back down, you know, maybe I'll do a show next week or next week or the week after that, maybe two years later. But for some reason, you know, you believe in your work, you believe in what you've done, and you are willing enough to follow through. Just follow through with your program. And find that when you come out on the other side, that, you know, it was worth it to do that. It was worth it to labor that long. And the trust in your effort, the trust in the work that you've done. So to answer your question, that's pretty much where I'm at today. I am pulling from old lessons learned and using them um, um, to carry me through in the moments when, let's say your confidence does pull you, it does betray you. Let's say um, 
everything that's said doesn't feel as good as you'd like it to, and everything doesn't stroke your ego, and everything doesn't say what you want it to say. Um, quietly, though, I'm still of the mind I believe that I can, I can use the lessons learned and um, do what I came here to do. Great. All right, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. He's in the top five of the Olympia and out of the mix just a few years ago, but it looks like you found your groove in the last year or so, especially last year's Olympia, uh, where you came in absolutely phenomenal, gave Jay and everybody else up in that top six a run for their money. How will the improvements come this year? We've seen some pictures online. It looks like you've uh, made some improvements to that physique. Any predictions for this year? It was my brother. <laughs> Another one. Yeah. I feel pretty good. I mean, um, I just do what I uh, want to do. What, what works for me, I work out a lot with Vince James. It's a big help for me. And then, uh, you know, going sometimes to Phoenix or he's coming uh, to Vegas to, you know, to uh, train with me and uh, or I to train me. I mean, and uh, in the last couple of years, I just find something what works really, really good for me, you know, and uh, my diet is always the same. Just depends. Uh, when I started, 12 weeks out, 10 weeks out, 14 weeks out. And um, the last few days I just have my friends, you know, looking at me and telling me, um, you know, you are look good or uh, flat or whatever, you know, and uh, we always go from that. And it's top three this year? Yes. yes. In high green fashion, in five minutes, we'll have an answer. <laughs> oh, you finished your potato, okay? Very nice. Uh, I uh, tried to translate. Uh, it's just, it, it looks like it, but you never mind, like, you know, you push branch, you know, or, or fight really hard on stage. You know, like, it looks like it was, uh, <coughs> you know, more joy for me, you know, more just, you know, for the show, let's see. All in the spirit of competition. Last question, Aaron. We made a, a tremendous amount of progress this year. We were in uh, Bev's not long ago with Steve and Bev's gym, and I saw him training, and the, the guy's just become a monster. I want to know what the difference is, how he's made so much progress so quickly. I start with three lists. <laughs> there you go, Bob. <laughs> More race to Spend time with my, with my family. <laughs> well, whatever you're doing, it's working, Eugene. Good job. <laughs> All right. And on that note, folks, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out to the press. Ну, зачем человека напрягать?
You know, this whole experience has been very fast, but it's been extremely, you know, rewarding, you know, and you know, all of Роберт, передай привет российским бодибилдерам и фанам. Полоска Сила. Сила? Good job.